Yo, from young, my brothers felt different. I was gonna die from my birth, but the kid is up and coming and I'm kicking. Thinking, another year passing, and I'm having tunnel vision. I don't wanna be forever stuck up in the system. I've gotta do something, I've gotta make an imprint right now. I ain't trying to follow nobody, see, I'm trying to find myself. And I don't need any help, I've been doing this thing by myself. Last week, the FBI confirmed that they had raided the Las Vegas home of YouTube star and self-described event producer and viral activator Armani Azadi. The home, commonly referred to as Graffiti Mansion, has become a viral sensation over the past couple years and is also becoming an increasingly popular getaway destination. FBI, SWAT, and Metro Police officers raided what's known as the Graffiti Mansion Wednesday morning. This TMZ video shows agents detaining people as they walk out of the house. According to TMZ, the search warrant that was issued for the investigation is connected to an FBI exploration of YouTube star Jake Paul's home in Calabasas. Federal agents entered Paul's home in a gated community off Mulholland Highway. Two dozen feds, some in tactical gear, could be seen carrying evidence from the property, including several firearms. Both Armani and Jake are good friends who are regularly seen hanging around with one another, oftentimes at the graffiti mansion itself. At this time, it's still pretty unclear exactly what the FBI was looking for. From Jake's home in Calabasas, they removed a ton of firearms, but nothing of the type was taken out of Graffiti Mansion. It's been assumed that whatever it is they're searching for is linked to the charges against Paul for his possible involvement in the looting of Scottsdale Fashion Square in May of this year. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, it's getting crazy. Paul has denied being there for anything other than taking part in the protests incited by George Floyd's death, but at the time he was arrested for trespassing and was charged with a criminal misdemeanor. Eventually the city dropped the case, apparently at the request of the FBI, and this more serious investigation took its place. I mean, it's possible that they're just trying to make an example here, but the FBI doesn't typically send out the big guns like this just because. Still, neither Jake or Armani were arrested during the course of these raids. Despite what happened by the end of the day, Armani was already hopping onto his Instagram stories to let everyone know that both the work and the party never stop at Graffiti Mansion. Well, had a rough morning, but uh, we're gonna try to finish off the day right over here. Get it, you guys are really concerned about the raid that went down at my house. Meanwhile, we got a mansion to paint, the Barbies are here, and you know, we got work to do. As you can see from that clip, when the raid took place, Armani and his crew were finishing up the latest transformation of the Graffiti Mansion into its latest iteration, the Barbie home. If you follow the Graffiti Mansion on social media, then you already know that the exterior of the home is a constantly revolving look of different skin, so to speak. On top of that, Armani and his talented collection of artists rent out the home, not only to visitors, but for merch opportunities as well, and this Barbie look is only the latest in a long list of themes. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today I'm gonna take you on an extra special house tour, this one taking a look at the popular graffiti mansion. Once you get a look at this place, you're gonna realize like I just did that even something as noteworthy as an FBI raid isn't gonna slow down the hype. In fact, odds are it's only gonna make this unique destination even more infamous. Today I'm gonna show you guys the different looks the home has had over the past couple years, as well as take you for a quick tour inside and let you know what you can expect if you were ever to give the place a try for yourself. We've also done house tours on Jake Paul's mega mansion in Calabasas and the Hype House, and we'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe if you haven't, and follow me over on Instagram. All right, now let's get into this video. Let's start off by taking a look at this place in its most basic state, because even like that, it's a total Shangri-La. In fact, that's exactly what they call it. If you head on over to Airbnb right now and search for Villa Shangri-La, the graffiti mansion will pop up, and you and your crew can give it a try for yourselves. If you can manage to split 4,500 a night, that is. Even without all the extra bells and whistles of a running theme, this home is still a remarkable piece of architecture. On the inside, it features five bedrooms with 10 beds and six different bathrooms. It also features features four modern, luxurious living spaces that are zen-inspired and professionally designed like the sunken formal living room with all those windows and marble flooring. And that's just a start because every area of this home is an entertainer's delight. The master suite occupies the entire second floor and features dual balconies with unique East Asian furnishings. The suite is completed with its own bathhouse, finished in marble with a jetted tub, steam shower, and his and her water closets, chandeliers, and a television. The other bedrooms are 
decked out in Asian decor as well and feature lush white carpets. The guest bathrooms feature granite slab showers and the largest guest bathroom houses a magnificent tub where guests can relax comfortably in a bubble bath if the mood strikes them. The interior of the home is completed with this master kitchen that any chef would love the chance to cook in. It features top of the line appliances both inside and outside. If you don't feel like cooking while you're on vacation, and I mean who could blame you, then have no fear the fine folks at Graffiti Mansion will book a master chef for you during your stay, if you'd prefer that. The spot even features 24 hour butler service. As you're obviously figuring out by now, Graffiti Mansion is a pretty magical place that blends imagination with reality and it doesn't stop at just the inside. In fact, the exterior may just be the highlight. Not only does it feature what they call Buddha's Garden, a backyard space with a full outdoor kitchen, 10 foot deep jade pool, covered patio and sprawling greens, but of course there's also the exterior of the building that's constantly evolving. I've already shown you the Barbie look, but that's really just a taste. Over the past two years, the exterior of Graffiti Mansion has taken on a series of different looks. For instance, there was this Fortnite skin that was one of the first Armani ever created. Soon after, he shook up the look and took it to the Supreme, literally. Advertising collaborations aren't all that Armani's about. In fact, his most memorable designs might be those that he creates for national holidays like this Christmas theme. And this spooky Halloween design. This past 4th of July, while deep in the heart of the pandemic, the Graffiti Mansion threw the most epic of parties imaginable. As you might guess, not everyone was super excited to see so many people ignoring social distancing and mask wearing protocols after this footage hit the web. But wanna guess how Armani responded? <laughs> Hey, at least he knows how to have fun with it, right? If you swing by the front of the home now, you'll most likely lay eyes on the Barbie theme, but if history is anything to go by, it won't last that long before Armani moves on to new look entirely. And if you've got ideas on what that look should be, just head on over to the mansion's website and drop Armani some ideas. I gotta admit collaborating on the outside of a house is something I never would have thought of, but Armani and his crew have turned it into a creative and imaginative venture that's more unique than anything I've seen in a while. Hopefully the FBI raid is behind them so that they can forget about it and move on. They've got far more interesting things on their plate right now to be worrying about something like that. All right, I think I'll end this video here. What do you guys think of the Graffiti Mansion? Would you be willing to spend almost five grand a night to stay there? If I had that kind of money just lying around, I sure would. That place is an MTV music video just waiting for you to arrive at and give a try. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to continue the conversation and drop some ideas in the comments for other house tours you guys would like to see. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.